Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, third graders. My name is Mrs. Nix, and I am so excited to be here with you and to support you as you become amazing readers, thinkers, and writers. Okay, so this morning I was going through our super fun activity books, and I started thinking to myself, the countdown to summer is upon us, and if you're looking for something fun to do this summer, you can get one of these. It's very easy. All you need to do is send me a note. Do you see the address pop popping up at the bottom of our screen? Excellent. Send me a note. Let me know. Um, maybe you want to share even what some of your summer plans. Are you going to go to summer school? Are you going to go on a vacation? I'd love to hear it. But don't forget to include your return address so I can put one of these fun activity books in the mail for you. Speaking of summer vacations and fun things to do, are you reading some books? I hope so. Now you can do that and check out your books by visiting the, the local county library, by visiting your school library, or here in Fresno Unified, we can use the Sora app and you can check out your books for free. Now we love to celebrate our students who are checking out their books. We've been counting down the schools with the top checkouts and we've got the five top schools and we're gonna reveal them to you this week. So in fifth place this week, We've got Turner Elementary, so great job, Turner. We are so excited to celebrate you and all of your good reading. You wanna be able to see your school up on this list, it's really easy. All you need to do is check out some books on Sora. All right, third grade, I've got three things that we're gonna go through this week. We're gonna talk about some R controlled syllables. We're gonna go through and we're gonna look at suffixes, and then we're going to finish out today with context clues. You ready to start? Okay, let's go through and let's start with our high frequency words, looking at those words we see often in our reading and writing. And remember, you're getting so good at this, you know you're responsible for learning all of these words. So if you see one that you think to yourself, you know, I could probably practice that one a little bit more, do it. That's what's going to help you be even a better reader and writer. All right, join me. Let's read them together. Here we go. Jump, it's, keep, just, no, kind, light, laugh, long, and, ooh, good. It could be live or live. We have to use our context clues to figure it out, right? Excellent job. Okay, so let's look at two words uh, today. We've got jump, J-U-M-P, and it's, I-T-S. Now, what kind of it's is this? That's right, it's not a contraction because there's no apostrophe. So it does not stand for it is, it's actually showing ownership, it's. Think about that as we read our, our sentences today. Okay, help me put them in a couple of sentences. Let's read them. The bee makes mmm in the hive. And how high can you mmm? All right, so I'm hearing you from home. You guys all know this one. How high can you jump, right? And then the bee makes its honey in the hive. So it's showing ownership. The honey belongs to the bee. Excellent job. All right, let's get started. So I want to talk about those R-controlled syllables, the R-controlled vowel team syllables. So just a reminder, we've been working on syllables the last few weeks, and so that good, good reminder of every syllable in a word has one vowel sound. You got it. It has one vowel sound. Now, when we're thinking about those vowel sounds, something that we need to consider are the R-controlled vowel teams. So I put them here just as a visual reminder. So A-R-E-R-I-R-O-R-U-R-R, -R -R -R, those are all of our R-controlled vowels. So when we see those in words, we know that they make 
a, a vowel t a controlled R um, syllable. Okay, so let's go through and look, what does this look like in practice? We've got a couple of words. I'm just gonna do two of them today just for a little bit of practice. Let's look. Do you see any R controlled vowels here? Yes, there's the ER. So I know that that is going to be one syllable. Then I also am seeing a, a vowel here of just an I. So how many syllables are in the word sister? Two, good job. And we know that that vowel team, that R controlled vowel team stays together. We don't split that apart. So we've got two syllables here. We've got a vowel sound here, a vowel sound here. We're gonna split it right between the two consonants that are listed. And so if we were sounding out this word, we'd have sister. Excellent job. All right, let's do it again. Ooh, and this one's even really similar because what do we see? We see that ER, that's our R controlled vowel sound. So we know that that's one vowel sound. And then we've got an I, which is our other vowel sound. So how many syllables, third graders? You got it. There's two syllables in winter. So let's decide where do we split it? We've got a consonant here and a consonant here. We know we always split our consonants into two different uh, syllables. So what do we have? Winter. Helps us when we go through and we're trying to spell. Excellent job. All right. I'm going to come back over here and pull this over because our next piece that I want us to talk about are some suffixes. And I have a little thing that I want us to warm up with. And I've got some cards here. And we're just going to go through them. These are some suffixes that we've been practicing in the past. And we're just going to say them. So we have us, good, less, excellent, full, uh-huh, ness, good. What's this one? Lee, good, and back to us. Okay, so we're training our brains. This is something that you could make at home so that you are practicing some of those suffixes so that your brain can recognize them. So here we go. We've got um, prefixes, base words, and suffixes that we're practicing today, and I've got two additional suffixes to introduce today. Remember that our base words, they stand alone, but when we add a suffix, we can change the meaning of the word. So I've got the word bend, and when I add the suffix able or able, able simply means that it's able to. So bend, and if I add able or able, because that's how we kind of pronounce it, bendable, that just simply means that something is able to bend, right? Okay, so here's my base word treat. And a treat could be something extra. Sometimes I think um, going and getting my hair done can be a treat, right? It's something special to do. Now look over here. Mint is an act of doing something, an act of doing something. So if I have a treatment done to my hair, like getting it colored, I would say that I had a treatment done to my hair right? Maybe we have to go to the doctor and get a treatment done. They're going to take care of us, right? Excellent job. Okay, now let's go through and look. What does this look like in practice? So I've got a couple of things. We're going to go back up and talk about those R-controlled vowel teams. And remember, the vowel that's followed by the letter R, both letters remain in the same syllable because they form a special R-controlled vowel sound. The syllable that contains this sound is called an R-controlled vowel syllable. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna read the words in the row and circle the word that has an R-controlled vowel syllable. Okay, so look ahead here and what do you see? Can you identify? We've got winter, write, and repeat. Do you see that R-controlled vowel syllable? Yeah, it's right here, E-R, excellent job. Let's do another one. Chain, later, ringing. Which one has the R-controlled vowel team? You got it, the E-R in later. Let's do another one. School, reply, and actor. Hmm, oh, there it is. The O-R in actor, great job. Okay, 
Let's do this fourth one. Height, dirty, enjoy. What do you see? Ooh, I had to really look hard on this one. I see it, I R right here, so I know it's dirty. Now here's one that you can try on your own at home. Report, resting, and crate. I bet you can do it. All right, let's jump down and start talking about those suffixes that we were practicing, able and meant. Remember, able means able to, and meant means an act of doing something. So it says, add the suffix to each word below and write the new word on the line. Now there's a little bit of spelling sometimes that has to change. Um, I think we're okay today, but we'll talk about it as we progress through the week. So if we have enjoy and we put it with a bowl, what's our new word? Enjoy a bowl, right? We're able to enjoy it, great. How about govern and mint? That's right, it's the act of governing, right? So govern, govern, mint. It's all one word, just like that. Do you see that we have that suffix added to the end? Okay, how about agree and a bull? Agree, a bull. Look at that, it's all one word. And there's that suffix. And so we're always just training our brains to be able to identify it. Here's my last bit of learning for today. We are gonna talk about context clues. Context to clues are those bits of, of clues that authors give us so that we can learn what a word means. And as third graders, we're always doing this. Our brains are doing it all the time. So let's talk about what that looks like. Here's a sentence. There was a swarm of bees near our garage. The large group of insects had built a hive on the roof. So if I were to say, what does swarm mean? Did the author give us any clues to help us figure that out? Ooh, I see it right here. So there was a swarm of bees near our garage. Look right here. The large group of insects, well, what are they talking about? The large group of insects is simply referring to the swarm of bees. So that can help me when I come down here and I go, okay, well, what does swarm mean? Does it mean warm weather? Okay, warm and swarm, they, they rhyme, but that's not it. Does it mean to go swimming? No, look right here. Swarm is a large group of insects. Fantastic job. So third grade, I just wanna say thanks for hanging out with me today as you're getting ready for school. And to remember, you are responsible for your learning success. So listen, ask questions, and share your advice because together we can do so much more. I hope you have a fantastic day today. I can't wait to see you back here at PBS so that we can practice all of the things that we've done today. Have a great and safe afternoon. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for